them also at some point. Um, and bits and pieces like that. Over here, uh, let me just switch around. I've got the toolbox basically. Um, paints at the top tend to be ones that I've mixed, so they're not off colours, but if I've mixed a couple of things together to make some wacky colour, or it's doubles off where I've got two things of them, so I'll put it in there. At the top here, I've got all my sanding sponges and bits and pieces, uh, just like that. Tamiya tapes, things like uh, bits and pieces, um, jammy dog tape, just up there like that. Okay, top drawer, we've got all tools. This is all where I keep my scribers, um, uh, wheels, tweezers, clamps, um, bending tools, you name it, it's in there. Um, needle sets for the airbrushes, bits and pieces like that. Next one down tends to be my um, pack of sewing needles for doing scribing work, keep them in there, always quite handy. Got some fuse wire in there. Um, some lead wire as well. Um, obviously, I've got my razor saw um, for doing your resin bits and pieces. Got my putty. Um, I have squadron green. I tend to use uh, polishing compounds. I like using it for the canopies. That's the Tamiya uh, finishing compound. Uh, what else? Black tape. Always handy thing to have. Bits and pieces. Uh, fuse wire um, and things like that. Pipettes. Down in the bottom one. It's there again. More of my wacky colours I made. Where was that? Look, MiG-21 bottom, did that about two years ago. Okay, so over here we've got the spray booth, um, pretty much. Um, if you've seen me do the spray videos recently, um, it's in there. Um, as I say, uh, quite an expensive, expensive extractor, um, but as I say, you know, I'm doing this all the time, so really I sort of need it. Um, if you don't use it, you will find your keyboard is your first giveaway when you can write your name in it. Um, so there's the thing like that. As you say, basically I have my airbrushes, I use, um, as you all know really, Evolution all the time, Infinity, when the Evo's playing up or something really um, as I say do like the evolution very much compressors just down here which is safe because it's got a rip max one with a tank on the bottom with a moisture uh, trap and a regulator so that's all very nice uh, my hose at the moment as you know I've only really really been in here a couple of like a month now so um, at the moment it goes out the window but until then it's gonna you know we'll, we'll make a hole and it will go out through a nice hole at the top and things like that so that's basically my bench side of things as you see uh, the side you're on now so if I just bring you up here Okay, and then we just turn you around. Uh, there we go, there's my computer. Uh, various bits and pieces, uh, there's the site on there. Here we go, going along, there's the copier, a stack of where I keep all my washes. Now, I know you all want to see this, this is my stash, um, which isn't brilliant actually, I must admit. Um, when I moved, I sold a lot, a lot of stuff away. Got a lot of 132s down there, which I'd love to do, um, but unfortunately, uh, nobody wants to meet commission at the time, so they have to go on hold. Uh, what have we got out there inter interested? Oh, got the Fokker Wolf, that one's coming up any minute. That'll be out starting on that next week. I've already had a look through the kit, and I've got all the paints and colours and bits and pieces, so straight forward ahead. Um, what we got? Douglas Sky Raider at the top, lovely kit, fantastic. Hasegau, uh, sorry, the extra um, kit, um, Sea Harrier, uh, only the one in 132, so, uh, in 172, so I thought I'd give that a whirl at some point. Globemaster, mm, love to do that. Um, Drakens, done loads of those. Uh, what else we got? Chinook, big one going to be coming on that, we're going to super de detail that for, uh, for my friends at 27 Squadron uh, when they come back. So we've got those. Uh, what else we got? Um, various bits and pieces, let's say Hornets, Tanks, 172s, lots of weapon sets as you can imagine and all the rest of it and in fact that's too deep it goes back again but I won't bother getting them all out so there you go that's really the grand tour uh, a couple of models at the top uh, there's a couple up there there's the boxes which if you do the shows you'll see me with those and bits and pieces so that's really it that is I've turned you around that is about it that's the office and what I do it Okay, well that's just about it for this week guys. Um, thank you very much for watching all the rest of it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, let me know and it might actually inspire me to do another one of these. If nobody says anything, I know like you're all cringing there behind glasses and things and thinking, oh shit, he's made a right arse of himself. So I won't do any more, simple as that. Um, there we go. Um, remember guys, the um, Southeast Asia conflict group build that's going on at the moment on the site. Um, fantastic work, all of it. I know I haven't commented too much on various bits and pieces, but as I say, been a bit of a rush with the wash and various bits and pieces this week, so I haven't been in the forum. You might be noticing as well, guys, that um, a lot of people's work is appearing now on the free part of the site as well, on the outside bits for the full build. If you want to see yours on there, either PM me direct or have a word with Hans, Carl, Jellyman, um, or Ed about it, and they can obviously point you in the right direction of what you're actually going to need to get it out there, because we do have to do a funny little thing, which probably you guys don't see it's in the background it's on a different part of the forum um, to be able to code them to put them actually on the main part of the site but if you do want to see your build out there just you know have a word with somebody either me or the guys and we'll sort you out 
Um, the other bits and pieces are, um, I know I haven't done the prize draw as of yet, that will be up over the weekend, I will do it when I come back from the show. Talking of the show, I'm going to be at the Fleet Air Arm Museum tomorrow with little cars on their stand, we're going to have a group build at about midday. Um, sorry for last week, the other weekend in Milton Keynes, I couldn't speak to many of you purely because obviously I got stuck behind the desk and couldn't get away. Um, but this time I will be out and about and having a yap and various bits and pieces. Um, Lots of photos. Any guys um, who are at the show, take those photos of the show because I always miss it because I get stuck there and I don't see them. And then pop them up on the forum and the various bits and pieces and then we can obviously put it on the main site for everybody else in the world. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again next Friday.